Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub UI Path tutorial. Myself Rakesh, and today we are going to learn about check app state. So it is a activity in the modern experience. So if you go to the modern design experience page, if you scroll down, you would find there are so many activities. The old activities has been replaced with a new activity. For example. This check app state, this one activity is replacing all these activities on element appear, on element vanish, right? On image appear, right? Wait element vanish, uh, find image, image exist. So it is replacing all of the older classic activities with this one activity. So it is very important that we should learn this activity how to work on it. So let's get started now. This activity, let me tell you, this check abstract activity, you can use it alone or you can use in combination with use application browser. So this is not mandatory. Uh, this activity can be used without this. But again, if you are using any modern activities, it will ask you to put it in the scope of this use application browser. So better you start using the within this use application browser. So up to you, however you want. So I'll be using this use application browser and within that, I'm going to use the check app state activity, drag and drop. Okay. Now what I want, this use application browser, I wanted to automate something on the rpachallenge.com. You can open this website on your laptop and let me first indicate this particular web page all right once the indication is done now in the check app state you can see all the selectors that has been selected in the top window has come to the child activities so here check app state i want to check the state of an element for example if you look at the page if you hit on the start button what is happening it is changing the round it is from start it has moved to round one. Okay. If you refresh the page again, the start button will appear. Right. So what I want to do, let me first of all indicate this button start button. Okay. Click on that and indicate the start button. So once you indicate, okay, look at this. If it has done properly, hit on confirm. Okay, now the image is appearing that means you have selected the element properly. Now what I want when the start element disappears from the screen, I mean when it will disappear when you click on it, right? When it disappears from the screen, I want to start entering the inputs into this particular page. Let's say I don't want to deal with all the fields. I want to enter the first name, let's say. Okay, so I wanted to type into if the start element disappears i want to type into that application so let me use a type into activity okay now in the type into activity click on indicate and then i want to type in the first name okay and then hit on confirm clear so now when the start button disappears i want to type something into the web page so let's say i want to type my name done so once it types the name i want to hit on submit so below this i will use the next activity which is the click activity so below this let's drag and drop and now indicate once again and select this element and hit on confirm okay you can see the element has appeared all right so now it is going to do this so what what is happening now in the check app state it is going to check the state of an element if the element here i have selected the condition disappear okay so depending on your need you can go with appear or disappear let's say i want to when it disappears i wanted to start typing into that application into a specific field and then hit on submit this is what i want to do now let's say the target does not disappear. Let's say you have launched the page for the very first time. The target is still available on the screen. 
Now in that state, what do you want to do? So in that state, first thing I want to do is I want to click on that start button, right? If the start button does not disappear, it, that means it is still there. In that time, I want to click on it. So let me indicate and hit on confirm. Very simple. Okay, I want to hit on that. The moment it hits, right? If you go back, if it hits on it, what would happen? It will go to the round one. And after it hits, I wanted to type into. So let me copy paste this activities, control, copy this, highlight this activity, paste. Okay. So first thing it should do is it should click on start. So let's understand. Okay. What is happening here? Let's see it. What is happening? So the moment in the check app state, the moment the start button, it will check for the element called start. If the element disappeared from the page, then it should start entering the name and hit on submit. In case the start button has not disappeared, in that particular state, it should click on the start button first and then start entering the name and hit on submit. Okay, that is what we need. So let's quickly run it and see how this one is working on the page. So I'm on the page now and in the background, I have started running the flow, workflow. So let's see how it is working. So which state it is now? It is in round one, right? So it has got round one. So if it finds round one, what it has done, it has typed Rakesh. So now let's say I'm going to keep the page in the start. So I am going to keep the page in the start. So now which, which flow would work? This flow would work, right? The first time when we ran, because the start button was not there, this flow started working. Now the start button is there. So this particular right side of this particular activity is going to run. So let's run it. So now the start button is there. So let's wait. What's it's going to do? Watch. It should go and click on the start. Okay. Looks like it has started working on the page. Give it few seconds. Okay. Now you can see it has changed to round one and it has started typing the name okay so please do experiment this is such an useful activity and there is a task for you okay the task is you need to enter 10 names okay you need to enter how many names 10 names and submit okay so using the workflow so it should and all the 10 names are present in an excel file in an excel file just a moment guys all the 10 so all the 10 names i'm not writing the entire sentence but all the 10 names are present in the excel file in such a case how can you capture how can you take all the 10 names you can work with all these fields okay phone number company name all this but just for experiment just go with one field let's say first name so you want to do with 10 times okay it should enter the names 10 times um, right and then uh, at the end of the 10th time right it should end so how can you do this think of the logic and start creating this activity okay enter 10, 10 times using the check app state so uh, let me give you a clue okay sorry i think i i run it once again okay so this is the correct flow now what i want to do i will give you a small clue there is an activity called repeat number of times. Okay. And there is a video also I have created repeat number of times. In case you are interested to understand this, you can watch it. Okay. Repeat number of times you can use and start creating this workflow. And once you are done, please do comment and let me know if you have, if you are able to complete the task. Thank you guys for watching our videos. We are going to come up with more such interesting and useful videos for you. Take care. Bye-bye.